Hi there. I hope you enjoyed seeing the work of artist Romero Brito. His work is all about shape, color, and pattern. And today, we're going to make some Romero Brito hearts, just like he did, full of lots of bright colors, wonderful shapes, and great patterns. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how. Okay, for this project, you're going to need a piece of white paper or a sketchbook, a big black crayon or a big fat black Sharpie marker. You'll also need some colored markers and maybe even some paints. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to make a very big heart and make it with a very black outline like Romero Brito did. So I'm going to find the middle of my paper, which is right about here. In fact, I'm going to make a little, right about here. And I'm going to make my, start my heart with the V at the bottom. There's a little dot there, and I'm going to go, oh, out to about here. Reach right out, make it as big as you can. Another really wide V over here. And then I'm going to put two bumps on it. And I'm going to try to make those bumps reach right up to the top of my paper. I'm doing a pretty good job. All the way up to the top. Oh, it's not perfect right there. But I'm not going to give up. That's going to be just fine because when I cut it out, no one will see where I made a mistake. Okay, as make that fat. You have to go over it several times to make it nice and fat, really big and bold. Now, I'm going to divide my heart into several sections, like Brito Romero Brito did. Okay, so I've got to say, maybe I'll make one here, back and forth three times. Oh, I think I'll start here. One, two, three. And maybe another one here. One, two, three. If it's not perfect, just go back over it and make it even fatter. The fatter, the better. Now what I'm going to do is make a pattern and some bright colors in each section. So in this one, maybe I'll put some polka dots here. I'm gonna draw some big round polka dots. Again, they don't have to be perfect. Romero Brito liked flowers, so I think I'll put a big flower right here. Wow. Pressing down really hard, going over it lots of times so it's nice and fat and black. Oh, lots of petals there. And let's see, what can I put here? Oh, maybe I'll make some stripes that go this way. And on this one, maybe I'll just make, oh, I don't know, maybe it's a sun shape. What do you think? Okay, now it's time to add some color. And I think today I'm going to use both my paints and my markers. So I think I will do some yellow background here. Remember, the first thing you do when you use these paints is you get the colors you want wet. One, two, three, four, five, six. I start with my lighter colors first, then I go to my darker colors, and they'll start to dissolve. So clean off my brush, get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a nice bright color. And I'm going to go around my dots and get a nice yellow background. And where else on this paper would I like to have some painted color? And you really decide, do you like working with paints or would you rather work all with markers? I'm gonna do a little bit of both because I like both. Oh, how about some bright yellow down here? I think I'll put some bright yellow there. And now how about some lime green? I love lime green. Lime green is made when you put yellow into green. But I'm going to get a little bit. I might have to clean this yellow off later, but I'm going to make a nice limey green. Whoop, nice, and I'm going to go carefully. I'm staying inside my big crayon lines. The nice thing is the crayon kind of makes a little wall to keep your paints right where you want them. Okay, I think, oh, I think I need some of that green right here. I love it so much, I'm gonna put some right here. All set. Now I'm gonna use some of my markers. And let's see, how about a bright 
red on those polka dots and I hope it's dry enough. I'm going to be very careful and try to stay out of my wet areas. Yep, that's working. Nice job. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to put this in fast forward and let's see what happens. Okay, so I have my heart full of color and pattern and I'm just going to go back and see if there are any little spaces I have to fill in. And I can say I'm all done. Take a pair of scissors and cut it out to give us someone as a valentine. Or I might say, nope, I want to add more hearts and more pattern and fill my paper with those. It's up to you. But remember to have fun. Take your time to do a great job, and don't forget to send me a picture of your work. I can't wait to see it.